Hi guys, it's Trisha. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So first off, I'm in the US. Second off, I spent a lot of money. So this is probably the most money I've ever spent shopping. But first off, here's a disclaimer. All of this stuff I pay for myself with my YouTube money. So I'm not spoiled. My parents don't just buy me anything I want. Also, this is the first time I'm in the US in six months. I haven't really went shopping in the Philippines. So that's why when I came here to the US, I decided it was like time for me to buy everything that I wanted. Because I really haven't spent money shopping in the past six months, I decided to spend my money now. Plus, you leave Leaving comments below won't do anything because what I buy doesn't really affect you. It's just a video and I make hauls and this is what I do. So if you want to watch it, you can keep watching. I went to Pink, Paxson, Hollister, Nike, Target, Gucci, Sephora, Levi's, Lululemon, Calvin Klein, Paxson again, Forever 21, and American Eagle. Also, I'm making this a try on haul. Before all the comments come in, I did spend, I want to say, 2000 dollars which is really bad, but it's fine we're fine i have a list on my phone to make sure i don't forget anything so i'm gonna start with forever 21 the first thing i got was this sweater here this sweater was 25 dollars. super cute it's just a few different colors and then it hangs loose like this i think these chunky sweaters are just so cute and it's like knit so it's really soft and then i also got jewelry from there i got this cute little ring pack it was 5.90 then i got two necklaces i think it was three dollars it's just like the coin ones and then this one is literally just a plain beaded chain one these were each $3.90. Next from American Eagle, I got these jeans. I wore these to school the other day. They're just black jeans. And then they have a ton of rips. And then at the end, they fray out. Just a basic ripped black denim. This is $59.95. Next is Brandy Melville Paxson. $265.09. So we're gonna start off with these gray sweats. They were 35. I love Brandy sweats. Brandy has the best sweats. I only have these in white, so I got them in the gray one. They're just really comfy. I really want the blue ones as well. Next, I got these jeans, which are Brandy from PacSun. They're the perfect pair of slightly loose denim jeans. They're just a light wash. I feel like everyone has these. Next, I got these pants. They were $38. They're the plaid pants that you've seen probably everywhere. I've been wanting these for the longest time. They're just the green and blue. Again, they fit me perfectly because Brandy is one size. I got this little belt here. Everyone has it. So basic. It was $15. It's just a cute little chain belt that can hang off of your pants or you can chain it like this off the side of your pants if that makes sense i thought this would be a good accessory next i got this top here i really wanted the long sleeve version but they didn't have it it was 22 dollars. it's just a white ruffled what is this like a tank top but it buttons up and then it has a cute little collar here and then i got this jacket it's just like a pale blue sky blue light blue i don't know what color this is chrissy windbreaker it was 32 it says it's purple. I can guarantee this is not purple. But yeah, I thought I could just wear this to school because at our school we have uniform, but you can wear any sweater. And so I thought this one would be really cute. It's just like, it's just like bluish. So I got this green little top. It was $20. It's just the long sleeves that are like a low v-neck and then scrunch in the middle. I have this in black as well. I used to have this in white, don't know what happened to it. Lastly, I got two tank tops. These were each $12.95. I got them in an extra small. I got a green one here. And then I also got a red one. I figured these would be good for the holidays. I can just wear them with jeans and then a sweater. They're just really basic. Next is Lululemon. I am ecstatic about my purchases. So it came in this cute little bag. I got two leggings this time because I only have black ones and I wear them all the time. So I figured I should get different colors. Everyone always comments in my try-on hauls what um, Lulu's I get. I get the Align pants, normally the 7 8th, and I get a size 2. First, I got these navy blue ones. They just look like this. Super cute. They're the full-length ones, so they're a little bit long. All my Lulu's are this design, the Align, because the fabric is, like, literally, like, butter. You feel like you're not wearing anything at all, and they will last you so long. I paid... $218 for two leggings, but they are so worth it because they're kind of like an investment because you wear them all the time. I wear leggings maybe five times a week, so that's why I definitely thought I needed more or just black. So I got navy blue, and the second color I got was this like 
gray green like off gray but it's a green i don't know same exact thing just a different color i wore these yesterday super comfy from sephora this teeny tiny bag can you believe this teeny tiny bag is eighty dollars that's insane so i got two of my favorite mascara this is the Too Faced better than sex i just decided to pick up two of it because i haven't been able to find it in the philippines and it's a really good mascara my friends in the philippines always ask me what mascara i use this is it and then i also just got the milk cooling stick cooling primer something like that i thought it was a cool primer i did try it yesterday i think it's just Okay, this is $25 and the mascara is $24. Next is pink, which as you can see, I bought maybe too much. So this is over $300. It's fine. First thing I got were these sweatpants, which I normally only wear brandy sweatpants, but I decided to give these ones a try. I got them in an extra small. These are $46.95. More expensive than the brandy ones. I feel like they'll just be the same, pretty much the same thing. I still prefer brandy sweatpants, but now I have my first pair of pink sweatpants. Next, I got this crew neck here. Super cute. I love the color. It's like um, salmon, I think. It has a cute little pink logo here. And then on the back, looks like this. Super cute. This was $49.95. Next, I got, I got this quarter zip in an extra small. It's just like a maroon burgundy color. The front is really plain. It just has, it just says pink right here. But the back says pink really, really big. This is $49.95 as well. Got this in an extra small. This is a quarter zip. I love their quarter zips. Also, this is really comfy. I wish it got colder in the Philippines so that I could wear all these sweaters. Because right now in California, it's yeah, it's actually pretty cold. Next, I got this black quarter zip. I needed a black basic sweater. So this one's $46.95. It's an extra small. It's basically the same exact thing with the dog and then the back says pink and it's just plain i like this because it doesn't scream pink then to wear around christmas time i got this quarter zip again this i got in a medium so it'd be oversized it was 49.95 it's just a red and black plaid just has the little dog right there which is super cute the last thing i got in here kind of screams america because it's red white and blue this is in a size small it was 49.95 has a cute little dog there then on the back it just says pink and red white and blue as you can see i like the same style just in different patterns like different design but the same exact style of sweater yeah yikes oh see we're slowly but surely getting through the bags next i'll do gucci now this i've been wanting this for quite a while and it's maybe one of the most basic things at gucci but I'm so happy I got it. Almost all locations you go to, their smallest size of belts is an 80, which is about always 27. And I'm like a 23, 24, which is a size 65, but they make very limited. So in order to get a size 65, you have to wait a few months. Everywhere, even online, 65s are always sold out, but they had one there. I was so excited about it. I knew I had to get it right when I saw it because I've been wanting it for so long. It's the black Gucci belt with the gold logo. It's like a thick banded one. So as you can see, the waist on it is a lot smaller. With tax, it's a tiny bit above $500 because you want to get one for yourself. I've been wanting it for the longest time. I didn't just go in Gucci and like, oh yeah, this looks cute. I'm going to get it. I've been wanting white Air Force One since they became popular back in the summer, but I lived in the Philippines and couldn't find them there. So when I came here, I looked everywhere for them. I've probably been to 20 stores and they said I don't have a chance of finding them because they've been sold out for a while. So anyways, I ended up just getting these shoes here. They're $90. I got these in a size five. They're just the black, white, and red Air Maxes. I wear black, white, and red all the time. Ask anyone. It's my color scheme basically. It's kind of like really chunky shoes though so you, they make your feet look big but I've only worn these one time. I think they're super cute. I do have black and white Hirachis, but I feel like these are just like kind of different. I don't know. I'm excited to wear these. I'm excited to style these. From Calvin Klein, I just got one thing. This was $28. I just got the black bralettes that they have because I have a gray and white one. I don't know where my black one went. 
So I just decided to pick up the black one. This is a size extra small. Then the second time I went to pack that, I finally caved in and bought this hoodie. I know it's so basic. I keep telling myself I don't need it, but really deep inside I wanted it. So I decided to get it. Paxson had it in an extra small. Most other places don't. This is $60. It's the white champion hoodie with the little champion logo right here. Literally just a plain white hoodie. There's nothing to it. This white hoodie I could probably get for $10, but just because of this logo, I paid another $50. From Hollister, I got this gray long sleeve. It's really basic, but the thing is it's so insanely soft. Like It's just really soft, so I had to get it. It was $19.95, which isn't bad at all. It's just a plain gray long sleeve button up. Our last two stores. Oh, also I bought this beanie. It's from Cotton On. I'm gonna do Levi's next. I got three pairs of shorts. I got another pair of shorts, but they're not for me. They're for somebody else. These are $69.50. They're 501s, but they were cut into shorts, which is hard to find 501s in a waist 24. So I'm so happy I found these. So these are just plain distressed Levi's. These come high waisted. I also bought them in a different design. So these again are a waist 24, 501, same price, 69.50. So these are these shorts. They just look like this. Very similar, but slightly different. I guess this one just has more rips than this one, but besides that, they pretty much look the exact same. And lastly, I got two of these black 501 shorts. The smallest size they have for these are 27, so I'm just gonna get it altered. One is for myself, one is for somebody else. They're just plain black shorts like this. That's everything I got at Levi's. I got four pairs of shorts. Then last, we got to the end of our video, Target. Didn't get that much, just had to get the necessities. So let me start off, I got chocolate covered acai. These are Brookside, these are really good. Then I got just the e.l.f. primer. Again, I've had this before, just ran out of it, needed a new one. The e.l.f. BB cream with sunscreen in it because I'm lazy to do concealer. Okay, so the rest of the stuff here is really boring. Way to end this video on a bang. I got Aqua 4, some lip gloss, the Wet n Wild eyeliner, best eyeliner pen out there. Then the last thing I got is Last Blast Fusion Mascara. This is a great combination with the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I wear them together. And that's everything I got at Target. My total was $43.44. Now that I have stuff all over the floor, and now that this bed is empty, we have reached the end of the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you stuck it out all the way to the end, comment something below so I know. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next week with another video. Peace out.